Hey guys, Chicky Domaine, aka Daboo, Daboo.com with a Daboo.com surf forecast update. This forecast update effective around 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Monday, February 9th, 2015. And guys, almost a week ago now, February 3rd, we did a website update titled Another Extreme Event slash Phase, and we put a question mark by it as there was a little bit of uncertainty. We followed that up couple of days later with major swell event coming and here it is about to unfold in real time we can erase the question mark from the extreme event slash phase as it looks like we're going to be entering that over the next five to seven days as multiple storms are forecast to develop in the atlantic basin and producing some nice swells for us surfers here's the latest visible satellite imagery and as you can see there's two areas of low pressure that we're monitoring one dot dropping in southeast of tennessee another one moving out of the gulf of mexico both of these areas of low pressure forecast to move into the atlantic and develop an area of low pressure uh, on its way to storm status over the next 24 to 96 hours here's this afternoon's gfs model run starting you off on tuesday showing a thousand and two millibar area of low pressure off the southeast u.s coast and then on wednesday moving off towards the east-northeast. Now, it's going to be on Wednesday that northeast wraparound background swell is going to start to kick into gear. And as you can see, there's a nice northeast fetch from this other area of low pressure that's to the northeast of that. That's what's over New England now that's giving them that snow over the last three to four days. This is a second area of low area of low pressure that's going to develop into a storm. Now, for you folks that live in the northeast i know we may have some new followers there we created quite a bit of a stir uh, over the last 24 to 48 hours on twitter if you guys are tuning in and looking for snow forecast blizzard forecast that's not what we do here we track storms in the atlantic because that's what produces swells for us surfers there's plenty of other forecasters for you to follow uh for those uh uh, for that so um stay tuned listen in but if you're looking for those types of forecasts uh we suggest that you follow uh, a couple other guys now on wednesday you can see that northeast fetch and then some northwest background getting ready to start aimed at Hispaniola and Puerto Rico. On Thursday, look at this northeast fetch now. Northeast fetch aimed at New England, down in here towards the Outer Banks, past the Outer Banks, and towards Florida. And then again, north-northwest wraparound aimed at Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands. On Thursday, look what happens here. Deepens moves to the northeast of Bermuda, but the winds begin to relax along the coast. Thursday looks like it's going to be the day. Possible offshore winds out of the west, northwest, along the southeast coast. Could be some really, really fun surfing here, guys, especially down in here towards South Florida. Puerto Rico followers, Hispaniola followers, You've got very, very light winds, but it looks like it's going to be Friday before the swell gets to you. Here's what it looks like late on Thursday. We've got another area of low pressure now approaching the coast. Winds could get a little stiff out of the northwest in here towards South Carolina, Georgia, and northeast Florida. But again, light winds across the Atlantic Basin down here over island nations, the Bahamas, Hispaniola, Puerto Rico, and the Virgin Islands. You guys know if you've been following us on on Facebook and Twitter, uh, we said it's coming, and here it is. Here's the latest wind wave forecast out of the tropical atlantic forecast branch now this is for wednesday wednesday showing seas about eight to ten feet along the coast down in here towards south florida and just to the southeast of the outer banks seas increasing 23 to 25 feet qualifying this storm as a major swell event when we get into thursday the system continues to move off towards the north northeast and as you can see those higher seas elevated are moving off towards the east and on the east side of bermuda but look at the wind barbs here guys along the southeast coast that's west winds at five knots seas remaining high at 10 feet off the south carolina north carolina coast 
8 feet off the Georgia coast with west winds 10 to 15 knots. Northwest winds light 5 to 10 knots as we get into central Florida and a light northerly flow along south Florida coast. But seas remaining elevated 8 to 10 feet and 12 to 13 second ground swell. Here's what that swell forecast looks like. This is for Wednesday now showing the northeast wraparound 12 to 13 second punching in towards Florida and then on Thursday broadening out as that fetch begins to deepen. 13 second swell periods aimed in here at the Bahamas and again it's going to be Friday before Hispaniola, Turks and Caicos, Puerto Rico and the Virgin Islands start to see that swell start to fill in. Here it is on an animation now. This is Wednesday Thursday and then Friday. Notice how quick that that swell punches in towards Puerto Rico. Going to be a lot of energy heading to Puerto Rico. Light winds. Guys, please be careful. If you don't know what you're doing, stay out of the water. But one of the other things I want you to take note is look at the back end of this model run right here, swell forecast model run. Notice how the strong northwest winds are starting to develop another northwest west swell in here. That's going to start to reinforce this swell that's coming as the next storm system starts to develop. And then here's where that comes in on Friday. Here's Friday showing a strong northerly flow just off the coast now of North Florida, South Carolina, and uh, uh, North Carolina in here. And then winds switching around out of the west as you move off. You still have this storm system northeast of New England, well well to the east northeast of New England and Labrador southeast of Labrador still producing northeast ground swell but this next system that's coming in is going to put a little quash on that as you can see strong northwest flow coming off the backside of that low this is Friday for you New England followers and it looks like another dump you're getting ready to get dumped on again folks I'm sorry to say that but we've got some nice northerly flow now off the southeast coast in here towards Florida and that should keep surf elevated through the period. When we get into Saturday, that area of low pressure begins to lift off and move away. Still nice northwest winds keeping a northwest ground swell in here towards the, the southwest Atlantic and another area of low pressure now moving into the Great Lakes region. Now guys, you folks in the northeast, this is the one that I'm really worried about for you. It's still a long ways out. This is one model run of many more to come, but this one gives me cause for concern. Uh, we'll show you that as we go through and to Saturday as it starts to inch its way closer towards the coast. On Sunday, you can see it makes it to the mid-Atlantic in here. Now, guys, this is going to quash any swell that's left in here is a west, strong westerly flow is going to set up from northeast Florida up in here towards the outer banks. As we get into Sunday, though, the, swell, the winds turn more out of the north-northwest. Look at this tight pack pressure gradient from the Florida coast on up in here towards the Outer Banks. This is another big swell heading for Puerto Rico and the islands in here. This is a 986 millibar low. This model runs showing a 986 millibar low over close to New England and then as it bombifies out on Monday, that's just... That's incredible. Hopefully it's going to stay well out to sea and not affect you. But guys, a, a, a westward track of 50 to 100 miles could have devastating effects on New England up there. It's not necessarily the snow. They've had more snow than what they can handle. It's the storm surge that I'm worried about. As with that last storm and that storm surge, could be a lot of water piling up on those beaches. Here it is again on Sunday into Monday, Sunday into Monday. And then as we get into Tuesday, it moves off towards the northeast, strengthens even more down into a 9.5 millibar range. And look at this northwest flow again. Now, I'm not 100% sure that all of that fetch is going to make it to Puerto Rico, but between Monday and Monday afternoon, that's a lot of Northwest fetch aimed at the islands in here. Any of you folks got plans heading to Puerto Rico and the islands, it's going to be big. At least that's what the model's showing us at the moment. 
taking you out to the end of the forecast period. This is Tuesday. Now, mind you, we're getting way outside of the norms of forecast period. But if you look over here in the left-hand portion of this image, it looks like another area of low pressure is going to be moving in probably Wednesday or Thursday. Now, the only negative that I can tell you is, is that after we have a climatic event like this, it typically will go to calm. We'll see. We'll see what happens. This looks like it's going to rob the atmosphere of the majority of the energy, and this will probably be weak behind it. But guys, it does look like the next five to seven days is getting ready to be an exciting period. That's all we got for you for now, guys. Stay tuned for the next update.